Recently, the National Institute of Justice has released a report that casts significant doubt on the use of standard field sobriety testing to test for impairment due to marijuana. My name is Preston Edwards, and I'm a criminal defense attorney for Dummett Freighton in North Carolina. There are several standard field sobriety tests that are administered by law enforcement as part of a DWI traffic stop. These include the horizontal gaze nystagmus test, the walk and turn, and the one leg stand. First, law enforcement will administer the horizontal gaze nystagmus test. What this is, is the officer holds up his finger, or a straight object, and asks you to focus your eyes on the tip of that object. The officer will then pass his finger back and forth in front of your vision. What they're looking for is twitching or nystagmus at the outer edges of your peripheral vision. This is always there in cases of alcohol impairment. However, for cases of marijuana impairment, it just doesn't apply, according to the National Institute of Justice. The second and third tests are the walk and turn and the one-leg stand. These tests are designed to test your stability and balance. And in cases of alcohol impairment, they work great. But in cases of marijuana impairment, they just don't work. The science behind marijuana is evolving each and every day. Your DWI attorney needs to be well versed in the evolution of these sciences, and they gotta stop treating them like they're alcohol impairment. If you've been charged with the DWI due to marijuana impairment, call Dumb Afraid in the day.